Every day, loudspeakers erupt in prayer for Muslims in one Minneapolis neighborhood. It's something that started with the pandemic, but as Charmaine Nero explains, it's growing larger. Just days before the holy month of Ramadan begins, those in the Muslim community will now be able to hear the call to prayer from the comfort of their home. So the city council uh, 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 passed a resolution that was or is going to allow uh, for folks to hear the call to prayer, which is called the Adhan, uh, to be heard across the city of Minneapolis uh, prior to uh, Ramadan coming up this upcoming Saturday. Minneapolis is home to one of the largest populations of Somali and East Africans in the nation. To Muslims, it is something that indicates that it is almost time to pray. As you know, Muslims pray five times a day. And uh, typically, uh, they may rely on, you know, apps or cell phones. Back in 2020, Mayor Jacob Fry facilitated a noise permit to allow the call to prayer to be broadcast by loudspeaker five times a day in the Cedar Riverside neighborhood for Ramadan during COVID-19 restrictions. Council member Jamal Osman said in a statement posted on Twitter, the Adan is one of the most important parts of our faith and the ability to do it during the day has been in the city's code all along. The call to prayer is allowed to be broadcast during the hours of 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Although some say it's a step in the right direction, they say it's still a long way to go toward full inclusivity. Uh, Muslims pray five times a day, not three times a day, and we hope that we have uh, uh, recognition by the city that, you know, that we would be including those two other prayers, the morning prayer and the late night evening prayer. I think this is something that groups that feel unheard, that, you know, that there is uh, a possibility to be seen, to be heard. Charmaine Nero, Carol Evan News.